Okay, sweet. So my slideshow is how to get referrals and how to get them to do that three-way text. So the things I'm going to point on, um, really, I start off at the beginning building a ton of report. Uh, we spend about 15 to 20 minutes building report, getting to know each other at the beginning because these people, I don't know them. And make sure to talk about yourself too, because they don't know you. They don't know who you are. They're like, this is a random person talking to me. And so definitely talking about yourself, making them more comfortable with you, um, kind of gaining trust. And the next thing is definitely read the script, especially when asking for referrals, just read right through it. And then third is thought joggers, bring up the people from building report The I like make sure to ask like how old their kids are, what grades they're in and stuff like that. So then at the end, I'd bring up like the teachers, the student, um, their parents, different like sports that they play and that kind of stuff. And then also the three-way text. I don't know these people um, that you're referring me to, so I make sure to point that out. So this is kind of um, like my new idea is how I do it. And so towards the end, they choose the items that they want. And then I'm like, okay, let's check out some accessories. And we kind of go through them. I show them the gifts, the honey knives, stuff like that. And so instead of seeing referrals as the at the end of the demo, it's like the demo's over, now we do referrals. I see it as part of the demo. It is part two, not at the end. And so after we choose accessories, I send them the message and I'm like, hey, I just sent you a message. Could you click the link and download it? And then I'll help you log in. And they're like, okay, great. And so I have them answer those four questions. I'm like, it's not going to take long. Just run through them real quick. And they're like, okay, great. And then in between the, the questions and the referrals, I ask for their address and their email, their phone number, that kind of thing, the short stuff. And so um, we talk for just a little bit. And then I read the script. I say, great. Here's how you can really help me out, blah, blah, blah. And then we do the referrals. And then I make sure to really explain, like right now I'm kind of um, starting to get more into talking to people that I don't really know. And so I'm like, I know it is kind of weird to give me your friend's contact and it's even more weird for me to reach out to them randomly. And they're like, oh yeah, for sure. And I'm like, so there's a way that you can introduce me to them. And they're like, oh, sweet. So um, rather than me calling them being like, hey, your friend gave me your number, these people are like, oh man, why'd they do that? And so... Um, having them send the text message makes me more comfortable, makes the other person more comfortable and the person I just did the demo with more comfortable. And so having them send that, it makes it a lot easier for everyone. And then after they do all the text, I close the deal and that's it. All right. So this is a little bit of an innovation. I want to make sure everyone understood this. So what Kate, what, what Paige is saying is that she doesn't get when it, when I'm a, a page, just to clarify, when you say close deal, what you're saying is get the credit card number. Yes. So she's not getting the credit card number until after they're done sending out the three-way text messages. And I, I was thinking about this and I'm, and I'm like, man, this is really genius because if they haven't given you the credit card number, they're still on the demo. Yeah. Like they can't leave the demo. And what I also want to make sure that you guys heard her say correctly is that she gets all of the referrals and then she says, hey, I know it's kind of weird that you're giving me a lot of these numbers to set up the, and it would be even weirder for me to call them randomly. By the way, I want to make sure that this is really, really clear. Don't say that before they give you the referrals. Hmm. Do not tell them that it's weird to give you referrals before they give you the referrals. Say that only after you get the referrals. We're going to teach you the referral approach here tomorrow. Um, so that's the part that I want to make sure you guys heard her say, because when, when you've gotten the 10, the 15, the 20 referrals, and then you're like, you know, I know it's a little bit odd to just refer out some of their friends, and it's even more weird for me to call them. I think what that's doing for Paige is it's setting up why it makes so much sense for their friends to send the three-way text message now. And so they kind of feel like they need to do it so it's no longer weird. Um, and at that point, you're making it so easy by set, by showing them how to do that, that they do it, I think, just so that way, because they don't want to create a weird experience for you, mm -hmm. right? It's kind of like if one of your friends invited you to a party that had like 50 people that you don't know, and they're like, hey, come on in. And then your friend just like disappeared. 
yeah. and you're just like in the room and you're like, this is kind of weird, right? You wouldn't want to say that before you get invited to the party though. You're like, oh, by the way, just so you know, I'm going to bring you to this room and then I'm going to like, you know, I'm going to go and uh, up upstairs take a nap. No, no, no. You only do that once. And so all of a sudden they're like, hey, before you go and take a nap, could you just introduce me to a couple of these people here so it's not as weird for me? And that way their friend's like, oh yeah, yeah, let me definitely do that because I wouldn't want to put you in a weird scenario. Maybe that 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 kind of referral. And so, um, you know, the things that I want to make sure you don't lose, read the script. <laughs> me and Paige sat down for a while and worked on that script word for word verbatim. And so that gives that gave her a lot of confidence. And I'll be honest, I would not have taught her to do the three-way text message until she was really confident with the script. So if you haven't memorized the script yet, that's step one. Um, but I think this process of, you know, going to check out and then, because you can like go to a different app. You can go, you can leave the Cutco orders app like with the knives there and then go to the Vector Impact app to like send the text message and the Cutco orders app won't die. Don't, don't close the app. Just go to a different app. Yes. A 40 year old dude just taught you how to use your phone. I don't know if you guys are all comfortable with that, but uh, so yes, you can leave the Cutco uh, check app and then get the referrals. Um, and then come back once you've gotten the credit card number, um, once you've gotten them to send out those three-way text messages, be like, okay, let me go ahead and get your credit card number. Uh, because I think the, 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 the most genius thing, the best part, the smartest thing that Paige just said is that doing referrals and the three-way is part of the demo. It's just the next part. Because I think she's right. I think if you go sometimes and you click check out and pay for the order, they kind of feel like the demo's over. And you can definitely still pull them in, but it can be it can be a little tricky. So um, I didn't want to hijack your talk there, Paige, but I, I I thought it was important to kind of like point out a couple of things to make sure everyone understood it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull back here and I'm gonna turn it back over to Paige um, because I wanted to see if anybody has any questions or you know maybe some objections that you face in the past that you're not sure how to handle that maybe Paige has learned how to how to deal with at this point. So does anybody want to ask want to ask her any questions about referrals? Questions going once. Questions going twice. Paige, you blew them out of the water. They have nothing that they want to ask. Paige, that was really great content. And you know what I really love about that is that you're not teaching theory right now. This is what you are literally doing on every demo. And you're building so much rapport that, you know, Paige was like, and I were joking yesterday, she had what we call her first kind of sort of crazy customer. Um, but somehow she still sold $300 and got five referrals on it. So as long as you build a ton of rapport, even your weird wacko customers, you can still get referrals from, <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, so I really appreciate, you know, kind of the effort they put into us. I thought your slides were, uh, were fantastic, very, very colorful. And I don't think they were extra at all. I thought they were very professional, uh, but I do appreciate you taking the time to do this. So, uh, let's give her a little round of applause. Well done. Excellent job. We're all, I mean, you can't hear it because everyone's on mute, but I uh, definitely appreciate you uh, putting this together. All right. Um, I did uh, want to talk about the concept of how to sell Cutco at holiday events. This will be one of the last things that we're going to talk about here um, because all of you guys are going to be at some sort of holiday event in the next, you know, three to five days. Is anybody traveling, visiting family somewhere else? Cool. Is anybody uh, going to grandma's house? Meaning like people are, you're going to somebody else's house. So the first thing I want to do is I want to teach you how to schedule demos at those events. Now, I'm not saying you're going to do the demos at the events. In fact, that probably would be a little bit weird. You can. But it's more about like, how do you get some extra names and numbers at these events? Okay. So I'm going to put some of this in the chat box. You guys can take some notes on this. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is ask. Oh, hold on a second. is ask everyone about their plans. January travel, et cetera. Hey, so what are some of your plans for 2024? What are some of the things that you guys are working on? This is a really great way to build rapport with people about asking them about things that they're excited about doing. Do you have any cool places you're looking to travel to in 2024? Do 
do you do you have any cool new hobbies that you would love to start in 2024? You can ask them, hey, what were some of your best parts of last year? By the way, this can also help you if you're at dinner table, you don't know what to ask people. You know, if they like put you at the kitty table and you're like, uh, what do I do? What, what do I talk to these people about? Hey, what was something awesome that happened for you in 2023? Right, you're you're asking them questions about themselves. Moms very, very commonly will then ask you the same question. By the way, even if they don't, you can even say, hey, do you mind if I tell you something cool that happened for me? And they're going to be like, almost feeling kind of rude that they didn't ask you. <laughs> if you do, but like, they're like, oh crap, this college kid has better communication skills than I do. But I mean, St you know, Stacy as the resident, you know, Stacy's kind of our like infiltrator. You know, she tells us what moms think. Um, I mean, Stacy, let me ask you, if a, if a college age individual was at your Christmas party and asked you about your goals, wouldn't it be pretty normal that you would ask them about their stuff? Um, yes, I, it would. And I would feel like, oh, wow, I didn't even bother to conversate with them about, you know, asking the questions. So, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, being a mom and um, yeah, that would be good that you would ask questions about their goals. Because, I mean, I, especially being a mom and you have everyday life like me with kids, like right now I have a son that's sick and, you know, I have, you know, still some Christmas shopping going on and just when you're at a holiday event, especially if you're hosting the holiday event or you're just talking to a lot of people and just having like somebody come up to you and just say, hey, so how do you have plans for the next couple of months? That really right there just tells me that, oh, wow, this person really wants to know something going on in my life. I mean, that would make me feel kind of special because at the end of the day, we're worried about other things in life and not worried. Like as a mom, I don't worry about myself so much because I'm my mind's just going nonstop of everybody else. I'm more worried about my husband and my kids and my grandkids and everything else. So just kind of doing that, I think that would kind of give y'all a lead way into, you know, getting to know people more better, especially at events. I hope you guys heard that. That is absolute. You know, I, I really appreciate that because I don't think as a young person, I would have thought that asking a mom about her goals would have made her feel special. Because yeah. when people ask sometimes you guys about your goals, it kind of makes you feel pressure of like, well, I don't know, mm -hmm. do I say the right thing? If I say the wrong thing, am I going to get a hard time about it? But moms, it's like they, they kind of never get asked that question. Mm -mm. Um, no. So, really you know, I, like I said, I think for you guys, it's such a um, it's such a like a gift that you're giving them. Um, to, to ask that question. And again, th this is just, this is not just to like long sell them cut co, you know, it, this is how you human, <laughs> this is how you be a person that, you know, is well liked by the people that you're, whose house you're going to. So anyways, step number one is ask people about themselves. Step number two is, uh, I think you're going to notice a lot of people are going to ask you. So what about you? What are some things that you've got coming up? And you could mention that, well, one of the things I'm excited about in 2024 is I'm working on my professional skills. I'm really excited that in 2024, one of the things that I'm really working on are my professional skills. You know, let's say I'm, you know, I'm Kaylee. Kaylee is graduating college in a, in a, in a little bit. It's coming up sooner than you think. It'll fly by like this. And... A lot of people that are Kaylee's age are ignoring the fact that they're going to graduate. They're dreading it. Well, because if you don't have a lot going on for yourself professionally, I understood. I can understand why. Anybody know someone who's like dreading graduation because they don't have anything going on right now in their business world. And all of a sudden they're going to be like, oh my God, I'm going to graduate with like a three point something GPA. And then what the heck do I do? Right. But then all of a sudden you got some of the individuals in our business who are like learning about business and you're like, yeah, I'm actually really excited to be working on my professional skills. And you can even mention, because a lot of my friends are kind of freaking out about graduation coming up and I just want to be really confident about it. So Stacy, I'm going to, I'm going to put you back on the spot. If you heard a college student say that, what do you, how do you think you would respond? About um, their how would I respond about their professional skills? Like if yeah, they were if to a tell a college student said to you, 
oh, actually this year I'm really excited because I'm working on my professional skills. Um, I, that would really make me proud because I mean, at least they will know exactly what, what they have going on in their life. I mean, there'll probably be more than what I was back then <laughs> as being that, that young okay. age. I mean, you know, I'm older now. I mean, even with my adult kids, I mean, you know, sometimes, you know, when they were in that stage, like my son, I mean, he was just like, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. And I'm just looking at him like, well, you have to be an adult. I'm sorry. I mean, I will be here forever, but I can't support you forever. <laughs> but just knowing the fact that y'all are, you know, at the age that y'all are and the way things are nowadays, because I mean, y'all didn't grow up in the 90s like I did. And I'm pretty sure um, Damien grew up at the time that I grew up. I mean, <laughs> you're it's so fast paced now compared to back then. I mean, just knowing that you telling me like if Kaylee was to tell me, well, I have this lined up for the next couple of months out of when I get out of college, that right there will give me this is this lady, this girl, sh this young lady. She has her life set up for her. Now, okay, if you're just so like, now I'm just going to stay around and do nothing, then I'm just going to look at you like, oh, wow, then you're going to, I don't know if your mom and dad have a lot of money or what the, you plan on doing, unless you just want to bum off of everybody. <laughs> I mean, that's what I would think as a mom. <laughs> All right. You guys are getting the inside scoop here <laughs> on the, on the psychology of the person you're talking to, right? So you mentioned this kind of stuff. They're going to be like, wow, I'm really impressed. If you're not their son or daughter, they're going to kind of wish you were dating their son or daughter. They were going to kind of wish you were their son or daughter, <laughs> right? And all of a sudden, if they're proud of you and they think really highly of you, think about how easy it would be mm -hmm. to move forward with the next section, right? Because they're like already thinking really well of you because what they're wanting is less people. Like she was saying, she was like, if people are like, oh, I don't know what's going on. They're like, crap, are you going to mooch off me after you graduate college? We just invested all this money, right? And so not that that's going to happen or that that's what, you know, of any of your particular, friend, you know, sisters or brothers, but, you know, that is the reality as, as a, you know, as adults, we want to, we want to inspire other young people to go after their goals. So all of a sudden, you know, they're, they're feeling pretty excited about you. And, um, and the next question, and this one's going to be so easy to transition is, is do you mind if I tell you about that? So they're already excited about it. They're already thinking it's really awesome. And you say, do you mind if I tell you about that? They're going to be like, yeah, tell me. I want to know. Here, I want to bring over my son. Can you tell him too? <laughs> so can I tell you about that? And they're going to be like, sure. And then it's real easy. Ever heard of Cutco before? And at that point, that could be a fun little part. They're like, oh, my God, yeah, the kitchen knives. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that you were selling them. Or, And by the way, this is people that you haven't sold Cutco to yet, which I'm sure you'll actually run into some people here and there, too. Um, and um, so, yeah, have you ever heard of Cutco before? Well, I'm um, I'm in their marketing program right now. And basically, I, am, uh, I do these presentations. It really helps me with my professional skills because i got to work on these communications. i got to do a presentation. Um, actually, do you mind if I... Can I call you after the holidays and maybe I can show you? Can I call you after the holidays so I can show you? Oh my God, of course. Cool. And then let me text you my number. This is a much better, this is much better than let me get your number. Here, let me text you my number. So when I call you later, you know who I am. And I'm like, okay. So I open up a text. Okay, what's your number? Okay, 555, blah, 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 blah. All right, I just texted you my name. And they're like, oh, okay, yeah. And then what you do is you save their number into your phone. And so now when you call them, it'll show up. And there you go. You can get two, three, four, five numbers. I don't know. Some of you guys have family members that will invite everyone in the neighborhood over at some point. People stop by, watch football. I don't know what you guys do. But um, this is just a way that you can get, uh, that you can book demos for um, for the hol for for indefinitely. This is like, uh, Easter parties, uh, graduation parties, uh, holiday parties. Again, you're not saying, can I sell you Cutco? It's, can I show you what I'm doing to work on my professional skills? And then, you know, a couple of days later, you call them on the phone and be like, hey, remember I told you I was going to give you a call? Cool. I was wondering if I could book a demo with you. It really, you don't have to buy anything. It really helps me with my skills. And these will be easy, easy, easy phone numbers, easy appointments to schedule. And uh, they'll be really excited about you because they already saw that they already kind of understand why you're doing it before you're even talking about selling cut gum.
Can you sell Cutco at these parties? Uh, heck yes. How do you do that? It's really easy. Just have everybody use your knives. This is not a this is not a mysterious you know task. You literally have a sample kit that has four hundred dollars of kitchen knives. Just put them out there for people to use. Everything, whether you want all of the things in your fast art contest or none of the things in your fast art contest. <laughs> literally, you go to somebody's house, you should like open up your jacket, bring out your own table knife, and cut with it. Like I'm just kind of you know I'm a little bit of a snob when it comes to my knives. You know, Grandma, I'm sorry, and you didn't do my demo, so I'm gonna use my own. Um, I'm only halfway joking, uh, but yes, you can. Uh, you, you can just let them use your knives. Yes, Stacy. I'm actually taking my knives to work with me tonight. Um, the chef was um, the other day when I was working. He went to go open up something for me, and he couldn't even open it with the knife that they had. And I was just like, he looked at me and he was like, "We need new knives." And I said, "Well, I actually sell knives." And I kind of started telling him about it. And when I said, have you heard of K-Bar Knives? And he was like, yeah. And I told him, well, we are the producers of K-Bar Knives. He yeah. was just like, would you mind bringing them? And I said, yeah, I'll bring them when I come to back to work. So I'm actually going to take them with me to work today so they could um, sh use them at work while they're cutting stuff up. Like, cause they, you know, we make, we're a steakhouse, so they make steaks, you know, stuff like that. And so he's, I think they're excited about it. Cause he's like, we need new knives. He was like, we're constantly sharpening knives every single day. And I told him, well, these, kni these knives, you shouldn't have, you don't have to sharpen unless you use them, um, you know, the wrong way. So I'm excited about taking them and showing them at work. Where can you take Cutco this holiday season? Um, now, by the way, if you're traveling with Cutco, I am traveling with Cutco here in the next five days. Put them underneath in the suitcase, not in the carry-on, unless you want to have a really funny uh, conversation with the TSA guy. Um, so yes, underneath, totally fine. In the carry-on, going to have a little bit of a problem. Um, so make sure that if you're traveling with Cutco, you can, by the way, super fun uh, to show people that from out of the area here, here's what my job is. And you don't take everything. I don't know. Maybe just take like your trimmer and a sheath, right? Just again, underneath, not on top. Um, and uh, keep, uh, you know, keep yourself with the mentality that this is a positive thing to share with people that you know. This is something that you should be excited about talking to people because it's, it, it, it keeps the conversations moving forward in a positive way. Um, so uh, thank you so much, Paige, uh, for, uh, for for sharing some really great content. I did record that, like I said. So if anybody wants to uh, go back and hear it, I will go ahead and post the recording of it. Um, and uh, great job for those of you guys that were on the phone earlier today booking some demos. Um, we are uh, we're on the last week of the year. Um, and uh, everybody's got a uh, different goal that they're looking to hit, whether it's president's club letter, that's $4,000 by the end of the year for those of you guys. So, you know, Stacey, you're on track for that one. Um, for some of you guys, maybe you're wanting to get to $20,000 in sales by the end of the year. We got the events team program. Uh, we've got our training for the events team program. Tito, this is something you might want to know about too on the, uh, at the end of January, uh, if you want to work events in the summer. Uh, I know Paige, I, I mentioned this to her, uh, Kaylee, Jose, you guys are all able to kind of go to this, uh, you know, and work towards this as well. Um, we've got uh, we've got assistant manager positions that I'm going to be making some phone calls about here in the next couple of uh, in the next couple of weeks. And, you know, after all that, you've got your priorities. Be a great member of your family, be financially independent, be a great student and uh, and do well at this job, too. So thank you so much for your time today. Um, I am going to right now. Uh, post on the group chat. This is the last thing if I can have everyone do um, is I would like to get a quick meeting with every uh, with each of you guys on um, on Saturday. Um, so I want to do a quick 15 minute meeting with you on Saturday. This is right before I'm actually going on a, a quick trip here to visit some family up in Washington State. So I want to do a little bit of a planning uh, meeting with each of you guys uh, on Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and post in the group chat um, a link that you can use to pick a 10 to 15 minute time uh, that will hopefully, um, like I said, set you up for some success. So um, I'm going to post this in the group me. Um, so I know some of you guys are on your phone right now um, or using multiple things. So uh, go ahead and go to our offices, group me on your phone or on your computer. Um, and then click on the link. Hold on, give it two seconds before I post it. I'm going to post it here. I just, group me takes a little longer nowadays. I don't know why. Like the website hasn't caught up with all the extra like things that it has going on. All right, so you should be able to see 
uh, the uh, the link here. If you guys can go ahead and pick a time. Uh, if none of those times work for you, please text me and let me know. Uh, but for everybody else, go ahead and pick a, a quick time there for Saturday morning uh, that uh, that you can use to set up your um, hopefully set up the next couple of weeks for yourself. So. Oh, I just realized that I had it open available at nine. I am super sorry to Paige and to <laughs> and to Kaylee. Can I have you guys pick a time that is after um, that? Uh, that I think from nine to ten, I'm running that workshop. So I just my brain stopped working. So if you can pick a new time that works <laughs> from ten to three, that would be great. If you want to pick a ten a.m., feel free. Um, but I'm running that workshop for nine to ten. I just I I opened up the meetings a little early. Um, so if you can pick a new time, that would be awesome. Oh, okay. looks like everybody got these picked. Awesome. All right. If you got a workshop time picked out, uh, thank you very much. I will look forward to chatting with you guys later. Have a wonderful rest of your day and, uh, we'll see you at the next workshops. Uh, Damien, I have a question. What's up? Oh, so I texted it to you, but like, how could I work up towards the events team? Or... Sure. So the events team program is um, the first thing they need to do is it's a certain level of career sales. And uh, the first level is $15,000. The reason why is because we need to know that you can sell Cutco on a mm -hmm. demo before we teach you how to sell Cutco in a three minute to five minute interaction. Okay. So it's a little bit of a higher level skill. Does not mean that you can't reach it by then, but that's the okay, number. It's, it's so cool. by then. Yeah, I like that. All right, thank you.